I just wanted to show y'all what we have to deal with in Canada. Do you guys see this shit? This is ice on the mirror. Well, the glass. You see it? That's ice. All of that shit is ice. So you can't knock no, you can't really knock none of the Canadian athletes and say, oh shit, why aren't you guys running super fast? Because this is what they have to deal with every day. So I can see why they're not motivated when you come outside and your car is frozen. <sighs> All right, we just got to the track. Um, got some recovery running to do today. Nothing crazy because we, we had a track meet yesterday. Um, still feeling the effects of the track meet. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the workout today. It's Monday, guys. Let's get this thing going. Yo. Today the challenge was four time 400 meters with 90 second rest and we had I had to run them all under 110. Oh man. It was real. Let's see if we can do it. On the first one. Put the water on the first one because when you come back for the second one, you're gonna feel and then it's just gonna accumulate. After a chat meet, this is basically a recovery run. Not all out. See you guys at the gym. Alright guys, it's another Monday, you know, I'm prepping for the week, so <clears throat> as usual, always I can have some steamed veggies, um, as I said before, the air fryer, and then I'm doing the same thing guys, I'm not really change up the diet too much, especially when you're like in season and you're really trying to run and maintain, I'm not going to switch up the diet too much, so again I'm going to do some salmon, because I'm not really eating no chicken or no other type of meat right now, and about it this so this will serve us for like two days so to, so we do it every two days so we go monday and then we go wednesday and friday and that's about it so hope you all having a blessed day um keep staying tuned to the vlogs you know <clears throat> i'm gonna try to be more consistent we'll see how that goes because I feel like the more we start to get into the season and the more I start like get deep into trying to prepare to run fast, the vlogs are probably gonna slow down. But I'm still gonna be coming at you guys with the shorts. So 
I see y'all. Alright y'all, just like that, training is done, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's going on guys, um, sorry about yesterday, I wasn't able to film properly because the, my mic was messed up, um, but uh, today we're outside, I'm going to walk you guys through what we're doing, we got some um, breakdowns to do, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're outside today, today we're actually plus instead of minus <laughs> so we're gonna try to hit it outside today um yeah um i posted my first vlog yesterday so far so good um i'm gonna continue posting weekly vlogs um i will see how you guys respond to it but um yeah let's go do this workout you got anything to say baby um sometimes it's good to train outside when you can in the winter because you can get used to training the elements of like wind and like cold air and just the, the just the difference in temperature and really being in nature versus being indoor because like real, the real track when you start outdoor so if you're just comfortable being in no wind atmosphere then you're just gonna it's gonna be a hard transition and i found that last year to be the case facts exactly what she said i don't need to put i don't need to add anything at all to that exactly what she said the more you can train outside because <clears throat> outside is where it's at so we're gonna hit it today i wouldn't advise training outside if you're sprinting and it's really cold but if you're doing tempo runs let's warm up once your body temperature is up you're all right you know it's just a mindset but there is there is ice on the ground there is ice everywhere <laughs> hungry so is it if i'm facing the camera like this i could i could hear but you see the minute i do this so at all times you have to be facing the mic Yeah. I've been staying out the way. I've been driving back and forth. I'll be the visitor. 
I've been trying to see you for the memories just fade you. I've been steady stressing cause they testing my temptation. Keep it moving, count up the digits. I'll buy your phone just to flip it. Go make a meal any minute. Can't work like y'all, it's an issue. I say, I won't just stand in your way. I wanna see you be great. Let's bring it back to the basics. I want real shit. Hi, yo. What you guys saw there was us doing some strides. Um, we're about to hit this workout. First, we gotta hit some um, hurdle mobility. Um, again, guys, 34 years old. Still out here getting it. Um, it's not as easy as before. I have to be really mindful with my training. So, <sighs> coach told me one time that it's all about patience. Right? You don't wanna rush the season. You don't wanna go too hard in the beginning and then burn out at the end. But at the same time, you don't wanna go too slow to where you have to be working hard in season to get sharp, right? So it's all about finding that balance and trust in your process, trust in the journey that you're on and go forward. So that's my little one, two cents I have for you guys. Um, stay tuned guys. I'm gonna try to walk you guys along this workout, we got some 500 breakdowns. We're gonna do three of them. Yesterday was a rough day in, um, in Spike, so today is kind of like a tempo recovery day. So, let's hit it. Want you to count up the digits, your money talks, I don't listen. I stay ducking out the way. Yeah. I hear that they wonder what I've been up to lately. Yeah. I hear them questioning my decisions. I move silent like a killer. In a piece and what's for dinner is all I keep on my mental. Uh, don't <sighs> Just like that. We're almost ready. Um just hit some hurdle mobility. We're about to get this. We got um, 500s, we're breaking them down into 300, 200. 90 seconds rest in between, five seconds rest in between each set. <sighs> Let's do it. Mr. Come up, my shirt is done up. Can't make this stuff up. I'm not a hustler, but I'm grinding till the sun up. You got me fucked up. I'll show you what's up. I might have lucked up. She looked at me, said, I'll do anything you want now. You've been acting different ever since the come up. You can come and tell it to my face. Come tell me what's up. The way she calls me baby and her mama calls me unknock. Wrapped up in the sheets, don't want to wait, can't get enough. Don't test me because I'll push it. I just don't know when to shut up. Flew out to the islands, I don't know where I'm going to end up. Don't matter where I go, I know I got my checks to run up. I got a ton of, can't make this stuff up, yeah. I'm on a mission. I'm on one, I'm winning. I run through the finish. <coughs> Alright, guys. <coughs> Halfway there. Um, today's not a bad day's tempo, so I don't feel too bad. Um, yeah, so we did two of the 500 breakdowns already. We got one more to go. Then we're going to hit the weight room. I'll probably try to walk you guys through my weight room workout as well. Uh, happy Wednesday guys let me know how your Wednesday is going um, I'm gonna be coming at you guys in more and more vlogs stay tuned count up the digits if money talks I don't listen why don't you count up the digits want you to count up the digits your money talks I don't listen Ooh, all right yo and just like that the track workout is complete um, overall it was a good day don't feel too bad at all um, it's always after your first like track meet so for those of you who don't know I ran the 800 last weekend just like um, some over distance work so I'm only one, running one 800 indoors this season uh, it wasn't the best race the meet wasn't organized properly so uh, could have been a faster time um, but yeah, you know, after that first track meet, you always feel so good, right? You always feel like you're highly motivated, especially if you come out with like a win and you're injury free. 
you're it's like you're looking forward to like the next track meet so yeah this is the build up next one is going to be a 600 um in a few weeks so follow along i'll see you guys at the gym all right y'all <clears throat> last day of the training week um yesterday we was outside today it's um it's freezing rain outside so we decided to come inside um we got some some work to do today. We're gonna to be doing some wicket runs. Um, tech, basically, Thursday is our last hard training day. So Thursday is usually the day where we are in spikes and we go hard because um, weekends are more like for recovery and weight room and more technical stuff. So yeah, um, it's been a good week. I feel really good. Um, let me know how you guys are doing out there and um, stay tuned, man. Uh, don't knock me too much for the audio in this vlog. I'm still working on getting better with the audio so keep coming with me the more I, I i edit videos and understand how to use a camera and the mic and stuff like that then i could bring you better um, quality videos and better content so don't knock me too much and this lady over here um let me say hi uh, she saw she saw one of, she saw the workout and she saw one of the, the runs on the workout and then she now she's like all up in her brain brain cells just getting tired thinking about what she how she gonna run it baby what did the lion say to the lion you lion <laughs> Since they come up, you can come and tell it to my face. Come tell me what's up. The way she calls me baby, and her mama calls me unlock. Wrapped up in the sheets, don't wanna wait, can't get enough. Don't test me, cause I'll push it. I just don't know when to shut up. Flew out to the islands, I don't know where I'ma end up. Don't matter where I go, I know I got my checks to run up. I got a ton up, can't make this stuff up, yeah. I'm on a mission. I'm on one, I'm winning, I run through the finish, count up the digits, if money talks I don't listen, why don't you count up the digits, want you to count up the digits, your money talks I don't listen. Alright y'all, just like that, warm up is done, about to hit the workout, uh, got some running to do, we got three runs to go, three runs, it sound like nothing, right, but the distance the last run for you what's the last run yeah we have a 90 second run I'm trying to make it past 600 meters in 90 seconds I think that should be fairly decent because it's not all out it's 85% um, so so we're gonna finish off the training week guys then we're gonna hit the weight room some recovery days um, how do you guys recover um, how do you guys recover? We recover a different, different type of way. We, the, mo the most important way to recover is by sleep. This is coming from somebody who loves to sleep, but sometimes I tend to stay up late. A girl right there in the background, she sleeps. She would be out. She don't play around with those eight to, to nine hours of sleep. All right, let's go do this thing. Training is done, about to go refuel. Um, how do you guys refuel after training? We do, we do waffles. We do waffles and eggs. How do you guys refuel? With me, she don't give a damn about my vlog. But yet still, you see if my vlog get to, you see if my vlog get to like 100,000 views, she gonna be right in my vlog if my vlog get to 100,000 views. She gotta wait. My vlog get to 100,000 views, she gonna be right in there. But yeah, guys, we're done. We'll see you guys tomorrow.